What's going on guys? Welcome back to another automotive adventure with me, The Auto Venture. And we are here again back at Katie's because we haven't been here in a while. And uh, right after this, we have Mikey and Mel's, which we also haven't been to in a while. So I figured, why not hit two shows we haven't been to in a while since they're happening on the same day and the weather's nice. So we've got some cool stuff back there. Let's get to it and let's see what showed up. Starting off strong, a brand new, newly delivered at least, uh, 992 GT3 Touring here. Looking lovely with the black and gold. Obviously they all come in manual, so you have the seven speed shifter down there. I always thought these were six speeds, but our last video to Hunt Valley proved me wrong. And that spec just looks gorgeous. We have C C6 Z06 behind it. A couple more classics and Porsches as usual. So let's go down the main line and see what we have sitting and waiting. Cool little late arrival. Rapid Blue C7 Z06 or C8 Z06. The Z07 package, that's where I got confused. Seven turbo in yellow, bucket seats in the matching roll cage. Another V8 Vantage down there. GT3, Control Career GTS. Love that, the blackout. Very cool. This is a cool blast from the past. Old Lotus, I want to say Esprit, but I don't really know my Lotuses that well. Pretty cool. Could be mistaken for a Lamborghini easily. Obviously, back here with the Porsches again. Oh, this is cool. Look at that Ruby Star Red 997 3RS. That is really freaking cool. Mustang, another Targa. Classics are out in force today. We have our second 992 GT3 Touring in the Golf Blue with gold wheels. Pretty nice. I like the clean look without the decal package. G Wagon, of course. Green wrapped AMG GT. Pretty nice. Bel Air. Old Camaros, old Corvettes. 348, nice. Targa. A couple of G82s or whatever they're called. That one I know for sure is in the spring. The order, the discount Diablo look. <laughs> this is really cool. Third one I think I've seen, the GTS America. Obviously, again, with the red, white, and blue paint scheme and special interior. Manual as well. Of the convertible top. Oh, there's the Z06. This looks absolutely insane. All the way from New Jersey, Sioka Corvette. Competition seats. The red stitch interior, very subtle. Really compliment that rapid blue paint. And this one, of course, with the ZTK package or the ZTK Z07. We actually got it in exposed carbon. Most of the ones I've seen have been carbon flash. I do like the dual five uh, seven spoke wheels. Would love to see the carbon ones on here, but those are pretty pricey. And really nice next to this, not Miami blue, but very similar blue Porsche. This is a cool duo. Ruby Star Porsche and the Pista, which we've seen plenty of times before. The Balloon Pearl with blue carbon. Can't get too close. People are in there taking their photos. So I'm going to get some myself. So those two cars are still swarming with spectators. So we're just going to cruise on down here. Let's see what we have. Because I did see some nice cars over here earlier, which hopefully they're still here. And we have a special Lamborghini to check out in a bit too. A nice old Rolls Royce Phantom. 
beautiful Viper GTS over there. Our second Z06, these cars are making a reappearance. The second Z06 is the M5 Orange. The Sky Cool Gray interior. And then if we walk over here, we have the Calvacade Special Edition SF90 Spider and the Verde Pino 296 GTB with the Assetto Fiorano pack. So it has a special livery, much lighter carbon wheels, carbon bucket seats with the Daytona stitch, Daytona styling. Very, very beautiful cars. Almost swallowed a bug there. <laughs> oh, nice. Love the Vantage, of course. That's insane. Uh, beautiful 993. That one is a turbo. Finally get to see one. Finally got it right at least. Very cool. Some more classics up here. More muscle cars. This is what we came here to see. A very nice Midnight Purple Herc on Technica. I think we've seen him before. Very cool. But up here is what we really want to see. Try not to get run over and stay out of people's way. This beautiful red. Murcielago, <laughs> very period correct with the uh, red and silver wheels, but very cool nonetheless. Obviously, that 6.2 liter V12 in the back, bad bull, love it. And possibly the coolest part for all you enthusiasts out there six speed manual, and even the red stitching on the seats, which is really cool. The bat wings up, just overall, a really cool car. An actual treat to see. New stuff showing up here at Katie's. We got a couple colorful exotics headed down this way. Miami Blue GT3 RS. Nice. Even has matching seatbelts, matching interior. Really cool. Dial 911. Love that. Old. I want to say 964. I don't know my old Porsche that well, so please forgive me. And then we'll fast forward up here for in just a second. Gunmetal gray GT3 with the 992 GT3 wheels. And then a 458 Italia in the legendary, your quotations legendary, red over tan interior. And that flat plane crank V8, magnificent. And this is why it's important to do full laps at Katie's. Because even on those packed days, there's gonna be stuff in the back. <laughs> Rosso Corsa F12 and a Volcano Red 650S Spider. Very cool, obviously my favorite. I'll say it every time I see one. <sighs> Looks absolutely amazing. And I was told this one is straight piped. So that's gotta be insane to hear. I have to admit, those do look very nice. I love yellow on the GT4. Well, cool appearance. Two of the new Toyota VR Corollas. The 996 GT3. And as these pass by, you can kind of see in the background. Surprise appearance. An orange Aventador SV. One of the 600 coupes. Get around here real quick. Look at that interior, the black Alcantara and the orange leather. Full carbon, of course, and the glass in the back so you can see that glorious V12. Paint is amazing. These heavily multi-spoke wheels, instantly recognizable for any of the events for S's or of SV's that these come on. Two of the most iconic so, so nice. I think this car might be a good way to end our trip here at Katie's. So with that, Katie's is over. We're gonna be going to Mikey's. We may have a group to go with, we'll see, because there is a group of Lambos heading up uh, with my friend Jason. So we'll see if we can tag along with them and try to keep up. Oh, interestingly enough, 458. Cool. But besides that, let's get over to Mikey and Mel's. All right, we're finally here at Mikey and Mel's. 
showed up at 10 a.m. when the show starts and we are as far back as you can possibly get. And there is just a plethora of interesting and cool cars around here. Again, with the classics to exotics. Sebring Orange Grand Sport. Another Watkins Glen Grey Grand Sport. Harlequin Honda. <laughs> All sorts of crazy stuff. so much here. I love that signal green. M3 over there. A couple McLarens. Jeez. What is this? Factory 5 racing. Okay. So it's a kick car, obviously. Nice GTR. There's actually two wide body GTRs here, which we'll try to find again. But let's let's go exploring. Starting off early with the exotics. R8. Survivor C2 Corvette. Here's the first of the wide body GTRs. This is absolutely insane. Massive fenders, even bigger tires. Nice. A very good job on the wrap. It's very deep, very well done. Green RS5, nice. Midnight Blue with Gold Wheels GT4. Midnight Purple R All Road. Midnight Purple RS6. Looks amazing. I love the RS6s. RS7s. There was a, over there somewhere, is a Verde Scandal Huracan Spider, which I think we've seen before. Verde Scandal is like a very bright, vibrant lime green. Or M3s, M4s. Oh, this is cool. Hold on. Interestingly enough, I actually have a Hot Wheel of this car, somewhat. Lime green Acura NSX. That's a crazy wrap. And speaking of crazy wraps, we have a Tiffany Blue ZR1. Let's take a look at this. This is crazy. Green looks good on a lot of cars. Carbon hood's a little iffy. Pretty cool. You can kind of see the Verde scandal back there behind the Cayman. We gotta keep going this way because there's way more stuff. Seeing some familiar faces. We have our Verde Artemis with the matte PPF SCO from the last video. Cool. And again, shows you how crazy this show is. He's combined back here. And there are plenty of exotics up at the very front, which we'll get to momentarily. Uh, let's go down this row, see what's up. Lotus Evora 400 GT. Very nice metallic green M3. Yep, next to some Camaros and Mustangs. That is a really nice color. Lotus Elise. Another Z06 back there, Z06, M3s, another GT4, more and more. Absolutely insane. This is even this is more packed than the last time we came here. 991 GT3, Viper, LC500 Roadster, some tuner cars. And interestingly enough, there are the Lambo boys I tried to cruise with, but I got wasn't able to cruise with them because I got stuck behind some slow cars, so I got lost. So let's catch up with them and figure out why I got here quicker. <laughs> this is so cool. All these colors, the DB11, the, there's the Huracan Evo back there. Here's the wide body GTR I was telling you about earlier. This is really cool because it's just whole new fenders not bolted on. And the air suspension, the massive wing. And I just love this color. So cool. We got even more cars down there. There's a lot of Lexuses, which I do want to check out, having owned one. It's quite the cool little lineup here. Supercharged right, on the top. Right, yeah, or yeah. turbos. Because um, my, I was. Good. I, I love my old uh, Japanese imports. Yep. So, so that's, a, that's a great car. How long did you have it? Uh, I bought it. Okay, so it's still a pretty steady. How are you 
been? What's up, man? How you it's good going? to see you. Same I haven't here. seen you in a while. I'll let you park. It's gonna be tough to find the parking spot. Another guy from Fredericksburg. Truck GT3, the Viola Metallic GT3. Spider, white over red, looking fantastic. 997 Carrera, 4S, 488 GTB. We'll get back to those guys in a second. Let's just do some walking around because cars are showing up everywhere. Nice. 488 GTB, 991 Carrera. Oh, that list looks amazing. 991 Carrera GTS, 992 Carrera GTS. Maybe Carrera, just Carrera. R8, Firebird, a couple other classics and whatnot. Oh, this is cool, let's go check this out. So there's a Huracan STO there, which is nice. Oh, what a PTS 718 Cayman. This, this, is, this is cool, what I really wanted to see is this. This collection of C4 Corvettes, and they all appear to be ZR1s with all of their hoods opened up. <laughs> yep, yep, they are, they're all ZR1s. That is cool. <laughs> you ever had? This is so cool. The row of them all opened up like this. Now we can go back here and check out this Porsche. I do definitely want to check this out. Nice, another 997. This is cool, this, I don't know what to call it. It's like a, uh, definitely, ah, I don't know the name of this green S for sure, but it is very nice. Spider, love the ducktail on the back. And of course the six speed manual. Alcantara inserts on the seat, the silver wheels look very nice, contrasting with this, uh, with this green paint here. Very nice. And then we have, I think, I, I don't know the names of these Koreans, so this is nice. Carrera GTS. Blue. Uh, might be a 964, don't quote me on that. I do like that. And there's a lot of green horses here today. Really cool. The low riders that we saw earlier. Some more low riders. M4, M3 CSL. At least CSL livery. 458 Ultra Violet GT3 RS. Let's check that out. Very nice Elkhart blue with natural dip interior, but this Ultra Violet GT3 RS. Very, very nice. The Hound's Teeth gray interior, silver row cage, silver wheels. I believe this one was at our last Mike and Mel show, but it's great to see it again, of course. Bucket list, nice on the Ferrari 458. Italia. Keep looking around. There's a new Hummer EV SUV. This is insane. I've yet to see the actual SUV platform for the Hummer EV. This is massive. Look at this interior, all the gold accents. That's cool, the panoramic removable roofs. Wireless charging, I love the terrain mapping designs throughout the car. That's cool, even the speakers have the terrain map. That is so cool. Very roomy interior, it seems. Those wheels are massive. That is insane. Gen 1 and Gen 2 R8s. Another Gen 1 R8 uh, V10. Two 911 991 GT3s, a GT4 RS right next to that. A lot of hats on that Miata or uh, Z4. Maseratis, Challengers, Mustangs. A lot of crazy stuff here. Let's go check out the, the heavy hitters over here. I do like this. The Long Beach Red C8 discontinued color very early on. so. Not too many ordered in that color. Nice. Ruby Star Red GTS. White GT4 RS with the Vysock. Let's take a look at this. Ooh, 
matching calipers, the gunmetal wheels, and seven speed manual over this almost sky cool gray interior. I love this, the Porsche logo stamped in there, even the backing, oh that's cool. The back side of the seats with the Ruby Star Red. Very nice color, I can see why it's so popular. And of course you have the GT4S here, all the carbon accents, I love the houndstooth interior to match the red and white. This is insane. The Lamborghini Aventador Ultima Roadster, one of 250 cars total being made. This one in the pearlescent balloon white carbon roof panels, the gold 10 spoke, multi spoke wheels, full carbon ground effects kit, the mirrors, the roof, even the flicks on the little on the hood near the hinges and the gold accents just to continue. The white and gold accents continuing into the interior as well. And that gold accented engine bay. Very nice. Another Viper SRT10. A fjord, I want to say it's Fjord green, but it does not look it. It is still green though. GT3 Touring. AMD Black Series in Magna Beam. Rolls Royce Phantom Drop Head uh, Coupe. Ferrari 488 Pista. The 992 GT3 RS from our, our trip to Hunt Valley Horsepower from last year. There's a GTS again. Let's take, we can get a closer look at this from since we didn't get one at the 80s. See the way the paint is shining on both the blue and the white. The magnificent blue interior. Looking absolutely gorgeous. So this is not Fjord Green because I believe Ford Green is uh, more bluish. This is amazing. Very dark green, but very shiny in the sunlight. There's another Aventador that just showed up up there. 360 there. Gold wheels here. I can't really be on these streets too much because cars are moving in and out. So This is insane. The yellow accents. So nice. So I didn't notice, but they do have the sticker price for those here on here. So this is called Jet Green Metallic. The sticker price of two hundred and ninety-nine thousand dollars. This jet green is fantastic, and it looks excellent with the compare, compared with the gold wheels and that yellow stitching on the inside. The carbon fiber accents as well. You know how much I love the carbon. Just look at the way it just shines in the light like that. That is just oh my. And the carbon roof too. Oh, this is beautiful. This might be one of my favorite cars here. And it is really tough to say when there's a GT3 RS, Aventador Ultimate, GT Black Series, GT4 RS, there's an Aventador and a Murcielago over there. This really sticks out. Another reappearance, the Murcielago from our last Ken, uh, Mark, Mike and Mel show. The 50th anniversary of Aventador, I believe that's the 50th, I've talked to him before. And this is cool. Highlighter yellow, or actually called Accelerate Yellow, C8 Z06 of the Touring Pack. That is cool. We'll have to get a closer look at that because I believe that's the 50th anniversary. There's one that I was in that color like that. That is such a cool combo either, either way. The Aventador and the Mercy. Two naturally aspirated V12s, the predecessor. And now we are nearing the end of the Aventador platform. So it was very cool to see a Gen 1 Aventador. Such as this one. It's very hot again, so I'm once again running out of breath very easily. But let's get over on the other side and get a closer look. Yep, so it is a 15th, maybe not a 15th anniversary edition, but it is 15th anniversary model year. So I believe the actual anniversary editions are numbered, because I have seen one with a numbered plaque. But this silver paint looks astonishing. All the carbon accessories to go with it. And a beautifully kept interior. The yellow stitching to really complement it all. And <laughs> completely missed by me the first time. The Urus right across the street from me. But this is just so cool. The Murcielago and the Aventador right next to each other. Or one right behind the other. That is so cool. It is just insane to see the comparison between these two massive picnic table <laughs> cars here. Both the track focus versions of their respective brands, the top of the line uh, for the non, I'm not sure, I believe these are limited, but the AMG GT Black Series, the track car, 
the 992 GT3 RS, the track car. They look so amazing next to each other. Being able to see the similarities and differences, the amount of carbon used, where it's used, the, the picnic, these massive wings are just what catching your eyes. This does have a DRS flap, but this one is manual, I believe. And this one, obviously you can see the struts on the back, so this is active, which is actually sitting in the DRS open position right now. But very cool. This one obviously is a little bit more usable because it does still have plenty of trunk space. The GT3 RS loses that trunk space. Let me back up real quick. Because it makes space for more airflow. So you lose what little trunk space is already there to begin with, but you make up for it because there's one heck of a car around the track. Both of these, to say the least, are incredible around the track. We have cars getting ready to head out now. Say goodbye to the GT4 RS. Get green. GT3 Touring has departed as well. As, and in addition to that, we are saying goodbye to the silver on red herd on STO. Looking absolutely stunning in the sunlight as always. Here's a car I missed again on the second time again. The orange Aventador SV that we got to see at Katie's. Making a second appearance here at Mike and as well. Surprising amount of cars came from Katie's show actually. And if we look at this Lamborghini, bright orange paint, we have this one just down here. And the bright blue paint. And with the engine being open, we can only assume one thing. Yep, twin turbo. Still feel the heat coming from that engine bay. Oh, it feels really nice in the shade. Very cool. And it appears now that Batman is joining us. <laughs> the Batmobile from the 60s. Now here at Mikey and Mel's Cars and Coffee, or Cars and Sandwiches, I guess. <laughs> I truly don't know what's gonna show up here. That's absolutely cool. Some more late show-ins. 992 GT3, really cool. Even more stuff I miss. Blue TDF Ferrari F430. And just on the other side of that, Verde Ithaca, I want to say this is Verde Ithaca, a Ventador Roadster with the Vorsteiner kit and these interesting uh, gold HRE wheels, but I love the, the green stitching throughout the interior, you can tell it's an older one, so it doesn't have as much carbon on the inside, but that green is very shiny, same with this blue TDF, I, if that wasn't green, I would go with the Ferrari, maybe not those wheels though. Midnight blue piping on the Daytona seats, very nice. Obviously carbon on the interiors. Very, very cool. There's our Fredericksburg friends over there. Rick, Corey, and Abel. Or at least their cars. And I think I've seen almost everything here. But that is really cool. And with that, as the show ends, our Lamborghini friends and more are leaving. This is the group that I would have had the chance to cruise with if I wasn't stuck behind all the other cars. So we'll say goodbye to them. Some of those V10s. And the Z06 here too. Well, it's been a fantastic day here at Mikey and Mel's and, uh, and at Katie's. The heat has finally gotten to me. It's time for me to go get some lunch and some, something to drink. But the show, as you, you can kind of see, is coming to an end. Hope you all enjoyed this trip. Again, I know it's local, but I haven't been to these shows in a while, so I figured we'd, let's take another trip. Uh, as usual, let me know what your favorite car was. Plenty of options here today. And until then, I'll see you all in the next automotive adventure. Be kind, be safe, take care.